Here are the five most impressive feats to ever be done in BTD6. At number five, we have Frosty's speedrun where he blackboarded every map. This took him roughly 30 days to complete, but only 173 hours in game. Compare that to my 2500, and I still haven't blackboarded them all. Frosty ran the same strats for the most part, but with later maps, he figured the biggest time save would be not messing up, rather than going overly fast and losing an hour of progress by leaking on a map like Ravine. But this run was completed in version 28, meaning several maps have have been added to the game since, making it nearly impossible to beat this time. And to top it off, Frosty used my Pat's Pond guide as the map is quote, horrible to go fast on. Coming in at number four is Mass Maves Round 400 Chimps Run, where he showed crazy knowledge about the game. To start, he utilized the Sun Temple bug, which is the only way to get extra money in chimps. While not usually helpful as they're so expensive, this bug really shines in free play. Every support Sun Temple you make makes you more and more money, and Maves was able to get his third one down by round 191. At this point, the extra money snowballed out of control, allowing him to eventually get a Navarch of the Seas, an Apex Plaza Master, a True Sun God, four total Sun Temples, and countless Tier 5 Monkeys, all in Chimps mode. On top of this, he knew about the Energizer bug that existed at the time that made cooldowns incredibly short. So, Azili could take out way more bads than normal, and Middle Path Monkeys could help out way more than usual. And to top it all off, this run wasn't even in the challenge editor, meaning if he leaked a single balloon he would have had to start the run completely over. At number three, we have Two Prudes Run, where he beat Chimps with only Sada, making it the first 1TC ever completed in BTD6. Up until this point, the least amount of monkeys ever used to beat a Chimps game had been two, though many players had been hunting 1TCs for a while. The tricky part was having a monkey cheap enough to be used at the start of the game, while also being strong enough to carry the rest of the run. At the time, Two Prude had been running tons of Sada 2TCs on Resort, so he knew the best times to use her ability to have her carry whatever monkey she was paired with. The hardest timing of all was a frame-perfect sword charge on round 99 that allowed it to come off cooldown just right on round 100 to hit the bad one more time. Then, on round 100, Tuprude was 3,000 damage short of having Sada solo the bad, but with a ton of sandbox practice and optimizing abilities, he eventually made up this difference and Sada could pop it all on her own. And this was the last puzzle piece needed for the legendary run. 200 hours of practice over the course of two months, and the Sada one TC was finally possible. The actual run took him about four hours to complete in the challenge editor, and Sada was nerfed just two weeks later. So great timing, Two Prude. At number two, we have Smart Person's least cost chimps run on Ouch. At the time, Chom Chom had the record as he beat Ouch chimps with over a hundred thousand dollars left over. So the score to beat was seventy-eight thousand and sixty dollars spent in total. An absolutely crazy challenge, but Smart Person was up for it. The only camo detection he used was a four zero two submarine and his main damage dealer was the Pirate Lord, buffed by Brickle and an Alchemist. This run required absurd amounts of submarine micro to get through the mid game and tons of heli targeting to not only blow back escaping ceramics, but also landing the stall every round in the 90s so that he could fill the pool with perfectly placed mega mines and having every ability off cooldown. And with all that, he managed to beat Chimps by only spending $69,460, leaving him with $109,440 left over. And Coming in at number one is Elk's all-time least cost chimps run. He did it on logs with just four towers. Brickle, a 022 Ice Monkey, a 040 Beast Handler, and a base spike factory coming in at only $18,235. The sheer amount of T-Rex Micro on top of him changing the targeting of the Beast Handler at the same time is mind-blowing. And if that weren't enough, he was microing Brickle too. The funny thing was that Brickle was the only monkey with camo detection in this run, so the DD T rounds were interesting, especially round 95 where most of them were taken out with Mega Mines, and then the ceramics were cleaned up with the T-Rex's stomp. This combination of abilities was used again at the end of round 100 where the Mega Mine popped all the mobs and the T-Rex handled everything else, leaving Elk with $160,980 left over. But those were the top 5 feats of all time in BTD6.